Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this easy vinyl wrap and rhinestone tumbler. The tumbler I am using for this tutorial is a 20 ounce skinny slurp from the Stainless Steel Depot. It has this metal screw on lid that's perfect for rhinestoning. The vinyl and decal are from PDB Creative Studio. This is actually one of my designs that I made and it is also available on my website if you print your own. The glitters I'm using are from PDB Creative Studio as well. This is Rain Dance, and I will also be using Moonstone. This rhinestone mix is called Winter Wonderland, and it's from PDB Creative Studio. This is under Glam Glass Rhinestones on their website. You'll want to start off by prepping your tumbler really well. I'm just giving this a nice sanding, and then I'm going to wipe it off when I'm done, making sure to get that lid really well, is well, <laughs> because we're not going to be painting anything. So you really want to make sure that your prep work is on point. So what I do to measure my vinyl is literally I eyeball it. I'm going to hold it up to my tumbler, making sure to line it up with the top rim and just kind of fold it around the tumbler here, making sure I keep it straight down there at the top, down there at the top. But once I get it on there straight, I'm going to take my scissors and make a little snip where I want to cut it. There we go, snip. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that off and cut it with my paper cutter so that way the, the cut is straight because I can't cut straight with scissors to save my life. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing but wrap it back around and cut off any excess with the same technique of just eyeballing it, making a snip and cutting it with my paper cutter. You'll also want to make sure to keep the scrap pieces because I like to cut the circle um, for the bottom of the tumbler with my scrap vinyl. I like to apply my vinyl with the hinge method. I find it's the easiest way to do. I end up with less errors this way. So what I do is I peel back the vinyl here and I'm gonna snip off with my scissors like a little sliver of that backing. And then I'm gonna lay the vinyl back down. Then I'm gonna flip this over and line this little piece back up, making sure to put it back on the correct way. You don't wanna put that paper side down because the vinyl will stick to it. So. Just make sure you're putting the right side down. Now we're gonna go ahead and line this back up. And I like to put that little piece on there because it, this that <laughs> makes this so much easier because the vinyl isn't sticking and you can move it around without messing anything up. And once it's lined up, perfect, you will go ahead and remove that little strip that is already cut off and press down the vinyl. Now I'm gonna flip this over and using my fingers, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. You wanna push down and in a forward motion with a squeegee. I guess you can use your hand too, but squeegee is easier for me. And you just want to push it and then the backing will come off as you go. And I'm just making sure I don't have any bubbles. If you do get a bubble, you can lift the vinyl to get the bubble out and then lay it back down. Now that my vinyl's on, I'm gonna go ahead and do it once over, just using my hands and my eyes to make sure there's no bubbles. If you do get bubbles, you can pop them. I use my weeding tool to pop them, and then I just press them out. And then I'm gonna check my rim, and it looks good to go, so let's move on to glittering. I will be using adhesive apothecary thick glitter glue to apply my glitter. I'm gonna put a nice thick coat about three-fourths way up the tumbler, just making sure everything is coated evenly and that I don't miss any areas and I'm also gonna put it on the bottom. If you guys can hear that rumbling in the background, I'm so sorry. I'm out of town at my sister's right now, helping build a deck, and I can't find a place that's quiet. <laughs> but that's what that rumbling is, if you can hear it. Mm -hmm. 
Once I'm done with the glue, I'm gonna go in with my glitters. I'm gonna start with the rain dance and do it kind of thick on the bottom. And then I'm gonna tilt my tumbler at about a 45 degree angle and just let it waterfall down. And then I'm gonna go in with Moonstone and repeat the same process. Once you're done glittering, you'll wanna set this aside, let it dry and then seal it. And then you'll go ahead and epoxy this until completely smooth. While your tumbler is turning, this would be a great time to start your lid. I like to use my adhesive apothecary thick glitter glue to apply my glitters to my lid as well. So I'm gonna take my time and go around this very carefully and just make sure everything is nice and coated in my glue. Now that my glue's on, I'm gonna go ahead and add my glitters. I'm gonna go in with Rain Dance first and then I'll go in with Moonstone. When you're done glittering, just set aside and let it dry for about uh, 10, 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna go in with some UV resin to seal it all in. I shook off any excess glitter that might have been on there and now I'm gonna go in with my PDB Creative Studio UV Hard Resin. I add just enough on here to seal in my glitter. Um, I don't wanna to go too heavy right this second. So I just add just enough to cover everything and I'm gonna use this little silicone, silicone, silicone tool to push all that resin around, making sure I get everything covered. If at any time you get resin where you don't want it, just take a paper towel with some alcohol and wipe it off. But once you're done with the resin, you're gonna wanna pop any bubbles with a torch or a lighter and then cure for two minutes. Once it's done curing, I'm gonna go in with my emery board and just sand any kind of glitter that might be sticking up around the rim there. Once I'm done sanding, I'm gonna add a nice, generous amount of UV resin since this will be my final layer and I want it to be perfectly smooth and glass-like. So add as much as you need and then some. And then I'm just gonna use my silicone tool and press it around, make sure everything is fully covered and everything is completely smooth. Then I'll go ahead and pop any bubbles again with my torch and cure for two minutes. To apply my rhinestones, I like to use liquid fusion. I transfer some of it into this little bottle. It usually has a needle tip on it, but I ran out of them, so I'm just gonna squirt it from there. And then this tool is from PDB Creative Studio. This little rhinestone tray is also from PDB Creative Studio, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add some rhinestones to it, give it a nice shake, and then we are ready to start putting them on this lid. I'm gonna start with the top so that way it has time to cure before I start handling it to do the sides. And you wanna add just a little bit of glue. You don't need a bunch. If you add too much, it'll like flood and it won't look as good. It'll cover the stones. So make sure you do just a nice little thin layer of glue. And since this is a rhinestone mix, there is no pattern to it. You literally just put the stones on wherever they fit. And just don't think about it. <laughs> 
There will be little gaps and that's okay. Embrace the gaps. It will look absolutely phenomenal when you're done. Once you're finished with the top of the tumbler, you'll want to set this aside and let it dry. I usually set it aside and let it dry overnight, but once it is dry and stones will not move, you'll want to do the sides. And you want to do this the same way, just add a little bit of glue and then start adding your stones. Now that my tumbler is completely smooth and dry, it is time to apply the decal. I like to find the seam and put it in the back. I like it opposite side of the decal. I'm going to squeegee this down just to make sure everything is nice and stuck on there. This is just habit from using UV DTF, so you don't have to do this with white cast decals. And I forgot this was a white cast, so you don't have to squeegee it, but I did anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and use the hinge method to apply this, just like I did with the vinyl. I'm going to cut off a little edge. I'm not going to put it the back on. And I also realized that I needed to trim up the bottom here because it's really long. So go ahead and trim that off if needed. I am just making sure everything is nice and straight on here before I put it down. Definitely don't want to get this crooked. Even though you can peel white cast decals up, they are repositional, but I like to get it right in the first go. And I'm just going to push that corner down and then start hinging it on the tumbler. Now I'm going to make sure it looks good that everything's straight to my liking and that I have no bubbles and it's pressed down nice and firmly. Now you can use that scrap vinyl and cut a two inch circle out of it and put it on the bottom of your tumbler. I really like doing this. I think it adds a really nice touch to it. I also like to add my logo sticker on the bottom on top of the circle. Once you're done with all of this, it is time to finish off this tumbler. I did another two coats of epoxy and then it was finished. And here it is all finished. I absolutely love how this turned out. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a follow. And if you made this tumbler, post a picture and tag me in it. I'd love to see how it turned out. Okay, bye.